Days, and this is my first picture book, Annie Hoot and the Knitting Extravaganza, and I'm going to talk a little bit about it. I think it's hard to remember where I got the idea from, but I think it came, my elder sister is a knitter, avid knitter, and she, I was, there was a period where I was staying in London quite a lot over my finals of my degree, and she has little spectacles and is a redhead, which is quite short and round. And this was when she was going on a bit of a knitting frenzy, knitting lots of bobble hats. And the idea came when spending lots of time with her, she was sat on the sofa and she was knitting away and looked rather like an owl. And we made a bit of a joke out of it at the time. And then the drawings kind of came from that. And it started with the drawings and the character. And then from that came the story afterwards. Originally, I thought, well, we should, she should do something a little bit more manly, masculine. And so we were going to have the idea of her, I, I quite personally like the idea of her getting into carpentry and being able to build quite amazing things out of wood with a little tool bag and a tool belt maybe and she could build massive wooden boats and bridges into other countries. I don't know, she's a woman, I'd like her to be an owl of lots of crafts and skill that she's going to go on and develop and not just be able to knit but there's going to be lots more things that she can do. The first thing I ever knitted was a hat and it was rubbish. And then the second thing that I learned how to knit was a scarf, and that was really fun and much easier because it's just long and it doesn't need to have any circles. And that's still to this day, all I can knit <laughs> is a scarf and a hat. If I was gonna be as extravagant as Annie, I, I, I personally like to knit the hot air balloon or the parachute. I think there's, imagine flying, not on one of those plastic boring ones coming down on a knitted patchwork one <laughs> my god that'd be good um on a re on a realistic note uh, my my goal is to be able to knit things for when i have kids i little, little dungaree dresses that'd be good traveled quite a lot i was lucky when i left school i went traveling for about a year around the world and came back on modes of transport that weren't knitted they were real. If they had been knitted, it would have been good. <laughs>